loves welcome back to our channel it's Olua Kemi Adesola here again with another movie review this time around it is a Nollywood movie and it is titled God's Calling this movie was um, this movie was executive produced by Bukumi Awoshika and it stars the very beautiful Zainaba Logo, Tinamba, Nke Mowo, Richard Mofeda Major. Um, then there was this little girl that I really liked in the movie and her name is Diana Egueta. She is so beautiful, so adorable, so polite and her acting was so great. For someone that young, she brought the emotions and all of that for me. She really did. She really did good for me. So, um, like I said, the movie is titled God's Call It and um it is a movie i'm trying to i'm going to try to summarize the storyline for you guys without actually explaining what um went down in the movie so the movie is about a couple that had just only one child they have just one child they have a daughter and the wife which was played by um Zena Balogro, she does not have the uh, uh, capability to have another child because her uterus cannot carry another pregnancy. Now, they are not all that spiritual. They are Christians, quite all right, but they are not actually practicing Christians. They're just, they're just normal church goers. And in fact, they are all small family. The person that was really into the Christian thinking was this little daughter that they had um, named Lola so um i feel like god wanted to test their faith and kind of put them on a journey but um you know how god works they lost their daughter through a gas explosion in the house and um they you know they were put through so many tests because they had to mourn the loss of their daughter the husband started cheating you know the whole family was in disarray and everything just wasn't going quite all right now imagine in the midst of all of that the mother who used to be a drug addict now claims that god was calling her to work for him to go on a mission for him you know how ridiculous that was that sounds like everybody found it so uh, ridiculous and you know they practically thought she was crazy and at a point she she kept on fighting it actually because she did not believe the whole existence of God and why would God call her of all people and you know if there was really a God why did she have to go through losing a daughter and all of that so you know she was caught in between you know family drama she going crazy addiction to drugs and everything and now god is calling her so everything was just too much for her and at a point she tried to kill herself she basically killed herself you know and you know god god was just god you know in his awesomeness god saved her then she believed that um god was really in existence like god really really existed so she decided to go down the old mission path but now she said she couldn't do it without her husband so she had to uh work with her husband for everything to you know just go fine so i really don't want to go into the storyline but this movie is so nice the acting was great i love the fact that it wasn't start studded you know the, the the movie went straight to the point they didn't go round round they didn't draw the story they were just straight to the point the acting was great the costume was beautiful the makeup was subtle nothing too serious you know so the movie um the movie is basically on family religion spirituality friendship trust and belief addiction passion um relationship you know and um god that's just it so um for me i'll give the movie a 9 over 10. the one thing i found ridiculous and unrealistic kind of was the fact that they had to use a phone call as the means of god trying to call her you know it could have been a dream or vision or something majorly but you know they had to use a phone call i kind of find that 
ridiculous <laughs> and one of the reasons i love this movie is that christian movies not the christian movies um religious movies they you know um we in nigeria we have those way of telling that story that um like the major actors and actresses of that movie have to suffer suffer go through so much or they have to be poor or something you know i like the fact that they didn't really center on that in this movie like because this family they were rich so you can reach and serve god you can reach and be a true and you know you can you can be rich and be a true and practicing christian there's nothing wrong with that but the old the the old nollywood kind of always portray that you have to be poor to be a christian you have to be not too comfortable you know to be a spiritual person or something like that so i like the fact that this movie did not really center on that you can you know you can you can be popping you can be rich and still be a very spiritual person so i like i really really love the lane the path they took in narrating the story and like i said the only thing i found unrealistic was the fact that it had to be a phone call like that was the means that god was calling but you know that he's god he's just god so that's all i have for you guys today make sure you go on netflix and watch this movie trust me you're really going to like it in fact at a point i think at the end i shed a tear that was that was that small tear in my eyes i i, I really liked it it was quite emotional for me because i kind of could relate to you know it was so realistic because the acting was so great so i could kind of relate to the emotions and everything that they were trying to portray so i get it anyways that's all for today guys um if you like this kind of content give this video a thumbs up share this video with all of your friends of course subscribe to my channel and when you see this video on netflix or when you see the movie on netflix let me know what you think about it in the comment section if you agree with me or there's another direction that you want me to see that movie in till i come your way again i remain your favorite girl oluwakemi adesola i love you guys and bye